What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua responds to Deontay Wilder's comments about his fight with Andy Ruiz. Of course, Deontay Wilder uh, went on a, a live rant on Andy Ruiz, and I have another volume on that because he, he was not done. He went ham on him further, but that's another video. And he also criticized Anthony Joshua for fighting the way he did, comparing him to Klitschko. OK, he compared him to Klitschko with the jab and grab style, which that fight was very like he calls uh, boring. OK, and he ran and got on his bike and he ran all night from Andy Ruiz. And he also said that he's the most exciting fighter and you got to go in there and. Uh, take the fight to Andy Ruiz because Andy Ruiz put you down. So obviously you have to put him down and that's the mentality you have to have, you know? So he basically Deontay Wilder told everybody what to do with their own fighting style. <laughs> okay. So he becomes the new uh, critiquer when it comes to boxing and Andy Ru and, and Anthony Joshua had this to say, okay. Anthony Joshua said, you know, hey, I got the job done. I boxed him well. You know, it's hit without being hit. And that should be good enough for anyone else. But you're not going to please everybody. It's some people out there that don't have a good bone or don't have a good thing to say about you in their body. OK. And he was talking about Deontay Wilder. And he says, when I uh, when I'm chilling. I'm, you know, I'm chilling. Um, I'm, I'm satisfied with my win. But then Deontay Wilder is the person that comes behind me and always says something negative about my fights. OK. And if Deontay Wilder feels that he wants to be great. Right. He's going to have to see me. <laughs> and. This is with a twist, he said. With or without Deontay Wilder, I am still breaking records and I'm still doing my own thing. Those are the words of Anthony Joshua. Now, let me do some counterpunching. First off, Joshua's right about this. Deontay Wilder's always finding something negative to say. You know, um, that's just the way Deontay is. It, it comes from, I feel, my opinion. It comes from envy. It comes from envy. It comes from uh, not liking the idea of somebody else being successful. You know what I mean? That's what that comes from. That's the, you know, when you wish something bad upon upon someone and they keep doing something or they keep being successful, that angers people. OK, that wasn't a good thing for Deontay Wilder, or any of the Deontay Wilder fans and anybody supports Deontay that Anthony Joshua won. December 7th. You understand that. OK, that wasn't in part of the plans. It was a bigger plan involved with uh, Ruiz and Deontay. Right now. Also, Deontay's critiquing of Joshua. Hey, you got to take it to your fighter. You can't go in there after the dude has, has stopped you and dropped you four times and go in there and jab and grab like you did. First of all, that's another tactic and that's another desire. That he says, oh, I would have done that. No, you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have done that at all. You'd have you'd have done what you always do, Deontay. You would have probably got your ass outboxed for the first how many of a rounds until you landed the punch that you was looking to land. And if it wasn't for that punch, you wouldn't win. That's a fact. You have no style. Jo Deontay has no style. He looks for a knockout. That's all he does. So let's call it what it is. So I don't know what's really exciting about that. The, the intriguing thing is, OK, when is he going to land a big punch? But one thing that I loved about David Tua and then another thing that turned on to was the fact that he could hit you with that left hand. And when he hit you, he'd hurt you and, that, and the power would save him. But the power won't always save you. And he will learn that in time. Anyway, that's another video. OK, and he wishes Joshua to come go ahead to head with jo with Andy Ruiz. Obviously that's something he's tried already. Yeah, what how did it did it was it successful the first time? No. What happened the first fight? 
Well, he was able to drop Andy Ruiz for the first time in his career by having that attack and aggressive style, right? So, yeah, that was successful to a certain degree, but that's something that you don't that obviously that's something that didn't work through the through the whole duration of the fight. He got caught with something. And who's to say if it was a third, it could have been in another round. He got caught with that same punch the way Andy Ruiz was throwing that punch. OK, but then again, it does go hand in hand with Joshua leaving himself open because he thought Ruiz was hurt. OK, so, you know, he decided to switch up his style. And a lot of people uh, like Blue Blood Sports TV uh, criticizes Joshua for saying that Tyson Fury is a boring fighter for fighting Klitschko how he did and versus how he fought Klitschko, which was a drug out, attacking, uh, uh, exciting fight. OK, both multiple knockdowns, you know, classic fight of the year type of fight. And Joshua called that uh, Tyson Fury boring. Well, here's the thing about that. Tyson Fury, when have you seen Tyson Fury to be an exciting fighter? And, and for me personally, the, the most exciting fight I've seen him fight was uh, Violin because he had something going on. It was, you know, it was a, a, a tribulation. It was a trial and a tribulation that he had to go through with his eye, you know. But he landed punches to the body. He led, you know, he was throwing combinations. You know, I like the Tom Swartz fight. But guess what? Tyson Fury had to fight Vladimir like that because Vladimir had many, many weapons. You couldn't just go in there and call yourself trying to go blow for blow with, with uh, Klitschko because Klitschko would knock your ass out. But that's something, again, Deontay Wilder will never know anything about because he was nowhere on the level with Klitschko. That's why his manager didn't want him in the ring. He didn't let him in the ring. And then, look, we can't even blame Shelly Finkel no more because you know why? Deontay Wilder is his own fucking man. The day he heard his manager say he's a baby champion, and that's man he should have he should have put his finger out of his ass or his thumb out of his ass and said, "Hey, I'm my own man and I want that fight." So you think I can't do it? I'm gonna show you as my manager. You're wrong and you're managing me wrong. That's what he could have done, but he didn't. He stayed silent and he stayed like Shelly wanted him to stay silent. Okay, so let's not go there. With the, oh, what's the Klitschko and Fury fight? Fury knew, because Fury has what you call a boxing IQ. He knows you have to fight Klitschko a certain way. You got to fight him to the outside. You know, Klitschko is, again, is not a knockout artist either. So he has to fight a certain way. You know what I mean? Versus Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, here's the thing about it, Joshua. He probably did think that. He thought that, hey, you can't have fights like that and and uh, uh and be entertaining okay now this is anthony joshua now though he knows and learn you can't knock everyone out okay that's not what you're supposed to do you're supposed to be able to switch up your style let's see wow to switch up his style oh that's right you have no style you don't know what to switch up go back to the basics <laughs> you know what i mean you know, oh, I got away with shit in my training camp. Oh, you didn't do shit in your training camp. <laughs> broke a hand every now and then or some up, broke some up and fucking had some other injury or whatever. But no. But anyway, moving on. Anthony Joshua, I'm still going to break records with or without you. That's a, that's a fact. Did he need it? Did he need Ant the Deontay Wilder at all? to make $1.6 million in the UK. I don't give a fuck how much it costs. That's stupid. That's irrelevant. The thing is, it sold. People bought it. They didn't fire stick it. They didn't fucking go and watch an illegal stream. They bought the fucking fight. Sky Sports, okay? We didn't, they didn't have to bring up how many illegal streams that the fight actually did. What the fuck was that, right? It was a classic. It was a success. Be happy with that. That's right. You can't be happy for another fighter because that's not your success. You know what I'm saying? That's what that is. That's what it's about. Yes. Was it, did they give fucking Anthony Joshua $85 million because of Deontay Wilder? No. It's had nothing to do with Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder was a mere memory. Okay. $85 million that doesn't not include the pay-per-view revenue on the upside. 
That don't include that 85 million. That was the 85 million that the Saudis gave Anthony Joshua for fighting in Saudi Arabia and gave Andy Ruiz 13. And that's something he argued tooth and nail to get. So kudos to him. OK, so that's that with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua does not need Deontay Wilder. The reason why Deontay Wilder has so much to say about Joshua, because he knows talking and speaking of Joshua has raised his profile in his tax bracket and his pay grade. Why? Because he believed and made people think that he really wanted to fight Joshua. In fact, he just envied Joshua and he's still envying Joshua till this day. But Joshua says, if you want to be great, you have to come see me. See, Joshua has the support, people. He has the fan base. He has people that support him. Deontay Wilder is the person Oh, he's finally starting to get a little recognition. That's what you do when you ask people about him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's still that guy that's kind of left in the dark. He's that guy that's trying to play catch up despite fucking fighting twice as long as Anthony Joshua. That's, that's the real shit. So when Deontay sits here and says, oh, this, that, and the other, and then Joshua responds, hey, come see me. You know? and. Deontay Wilder, maybe he may see Joshua one day, but that's another video, okay? Because a lot of things have to happen, and I'll explain in detail. But those are the comments of Anthony Joshua, okay? Anthony Joshua told Deontay Wilder to come see him. Let's see if Deontay Wilder is real enough to take that challenge. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.